I might have went a little overboard with the spending. But the stuff is cute, so do I regret it? No. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Carrie. I make girly glam and slightly ratchet content here online. Today's video is going to be another glam this video and it is going to be my huge Shein holiday haul. This is not sponsored but I decided to do some holiday shopping and honestly I didn't know if I was going to shop from Shein but I was just kind of scrolling through different sites and they had the most stuff that I really liked and I was really excited for and of course they're affordable and they have my style on top of everyone's style pretty much because they have so many different aesthetics. So these are the things that I'm going to show you. If you're excited to see what I got then just keep on watching. I'll make sure to have links for all of these items as much as I can if they're still available. So I'll do the work on my end and you do the work on yours by hitting the subscribe button as well as turning on the post notification bell. That way you never miss when I upload a new video. And feel free to follow me on social media at Glamanista08 pretty much everywhere. That way you can stay tuned and see behind the scene looks at all the girly glam and slightly ratchet parts of my life. But other than that, we're just gonna get right into everything. I tried to section this off into categories, but they're not really categories. Um, but I am going to start off with something that I got like five of, four or five. I have always wanted fancy gloves. And I've posted pictures with the two pairs of gloves that I own from Amazon and from Savage X, but I need more in my life that are fancy gloves, you know, not just like the winter ones. So I got myself some. Starting off with this cute pair of gloves. These are the daintiest out of everything. They are mesh and then they have polka dots on them, but they also do have pearls. And then I didn't realize this when I was buying it, but this one also has this gem attached to it that's sewn on and it kind of looks like you're wearing a ring or jewelry when you're not. Um, and then they cinch. None of these gloves were super expensive. I don't think any of them cost more than $5. So I was happy to find that, especially because I've been trying to find some whenever I get the chance to go to like an antique store, but I find that they're either dingy or they don't fit me. Um, so I liked these because they fit and I wore them out the other day and love them. The next pair I got is this pair, which is giving me spring vibes, but I think I can kind of wear them at least for the rest of November. Um, they are these tan pair of gloves, also very dainty. The material is kind of like this spandex cotton blend and the top is polka dot again. It has a little bow on the side. It has this cute little crochet lining, um, but the inside has this like I don't know, like rubber material or whatever, so it still grips and they are touchscreen friendly, which I thought was awesome. So, yeah, I got these. Next, I am living my Jessica Rabbit fantasy. I just got some long red velveteen gloves because I thought this was. But yeah, these are long red velveteen gloves that I thought would be perfect for the holiday season, um, especially because I feel like I have gotten away from wearing red any other time of the year. Like, red's just not a color that I wear often. Um, so I think these are fitting because you can wear them, you can pair these with neutral outfits and just look extra and bougie. These are a little bit tighter. Um, I think all of these were one size fits all, and if they weren't, I got like a size small, medium. Um, these are tighter on both the hands and the arms, but I don't know if that's just me. Um, so that's just something to be aware of. The next gloves I'm in love with. These are so cute. These are like a off-white cream colored satin glove and the top of them have this like ruching going on. The base does not though, which I kind of like. I know usually I say like things look cheaper if you have a pattern on one side and then it's not kind of continuating continuating if it doesn't continue over around. But I like these because I think that it doesn't look as weird. I don't know. But um, I think these are super cute and I think these are going to be like my 2022 gloves. And then last gloves are kind of cute but kind of a miss at the same time. These are black velveteen gloves that um, are also very cute, very aesthetic. Oh, she's chic. But the feathers keep shedding. They shed when I was trying them on. They're shedding now. So that's the only thing. These little boa feathers are not the best quality. But again, I paid like $3 for this pair of gloves. So it's not the end of the world. Okay, moving on to accessories. I'm hoping that I do this in order. I'm actually going to show you a bracelet that I did not get b-roll footage of. Um, and it's kind of weird because most people don't do this for themselves. But I thought that it would be cute. Hear me out, hear me out. So I got an initial bracelet and it's just like this very thin chain um, rose gold 
bracelet with a heart and a letter on it. I didn't get a K because I have so much K jewelry and I was like, oh, that's kind of conceited. So I did get an S and I know it's kind of weird because it's not like Sam bought this for me. I bought it for myself, but I was like, I love him. And this is like a little reminder of him on my wrist. I think it's cute, so I got this. <laughs> then I also did get some necklaces. This one, I actually don't know if it's giving what she's supposed to give. Um, this is a pearl necklace. It has one little pearl. I've been loving these type of simple pearl like pieces lately. And then it has like these chains that are leaf shape. And I guess I just, something about it, I feel like the leaves aren't giving me, but I feel like this would be better for me if I layered it with other necklaces so it's not just by itself. The next piece I got, I think I actually wore in the b-roll with this top, but it is this necklace that I love. So this is similar kind of to the other one, but I think that it's executed better. So it's the chain link, but then it has these two big pearls not matching. And I think these are the type of necklaces that look absolutely cute when you wear it with like a cardigan or like a sweater that's a little bit lower so you kind of start to see the collarbone. I think this is beautiful. Chef's kiss. And then I also got this necklace, which is super cute. Um, and I'm actually surprised that I love this as much as I do. It is just a simple like gem necklace. I keep seeing these on my Instagram page now because I've been following a lot more Princess Core people. I think I'm caught in between like a little bit of this, a little bit of glam extra, you know? So, um, I like the style of jewelry, but I got this color because this is um, garnet, which is my birthstone, and all my life I've hated that garnet was my birthstone, and I've always wanted like pearl or like a pink stone, but I'm kind of digging it now, and I think it's actually really beautiful, and this is me becoming an adult, accepting myself for who I am. I did get two corsets, one of which is this black one that I'll show you guys later on the b-roll footage for, but this I love because you don't have to actually lace it every time you wear it, so it's just a waist belt and then it's velcro in the back. Um, but the velcro is pretty well hidden, I think. I also got this one, and I need to find the ribbon because I kind of lost it, but um, this is beautiful. It's white and sheer, but then it has like this pink rose pattern on it. Um, I think this is beautiful. I also did get a white dress that I particularly want to pair with this. That dress is absolutely stunning, absolutely beautiful. It was comfortable, load very well in the body, um, and I have a similar one that I'm going to haul as well. But I would recommend getting you this corset if you have something that's plain and white like that, even if it's a blouse instead of a dress, just so that you can layer it and kind of just zhuzh it up and you didn't have to spend a lot of money on a new dress that had like a simple additional pattern, if that makes sense. So now I'm going to get into my pile of individual items, and all of these are tops except for one thing, because if you know me, you know that's how I shop. The first thing I got, I absolutely love. This is a cropped hoodie. Well, it's not even a hoodie because it doesn't have a hood. It's a cropped jacket, um, faux fur, white detailing. And it is this like neutral leopard print, which I just think this is so adorable. This is perfect for the winter time. It's actually really warm, but I like that it's cropped so it's still cute. It doesn't like overwhelm your frame if you're short like me. I'm 5'2". Um, but I like this because of the fact that it is fully zippered. So you can wear it closed, but you can also wear it open and kind of layer it. And I love that. And I feel like this is one of those things like... I was talking to my friends about this this past weekend. I love me some girly clothes, but I especially love it if it's comfortable. And this is something you can just throw on a black top and leggings like I did in the b-roll. And it's a fit. It's a look. It's a vibe. So I recommend this. Okay, second item is actually what I'm wearing. It is this sweater that says farm fresh Christmas trees, pine, spruce for complimentary cider hot cocoa. I just thought this was so cute because the color is like this really, really pastel, wannabe off-white yellow color, which I just think is so adorable. And I just feel like this is giving me like Hallmark movie. I live in a town that has a whole bunch of old Christmas themed stores. Let's get some hot cocoa and let's go shopping. This is the vibe that it's giving me, but it's also so comfortable. I love this sweater. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, there's no way that I'm not buying something from Shein today because this is too cute to pass up. I got this shirt. Hey, hey, hey. So I don't know why I did this to myself, but I ended up buying like three uh, tops that have nothing but frozen and hot drinks on it. But that's just because I really love me some Starbucks, especially this time of year. Um, so I got this top, which is oversized. I think I got it in like a large because I wanted it to be extra big, but it it kind of fits a little awkward to be honest, but it is just this tan top and then it has a whole bunch of 
holiday drinks. And I just thought this was cute because again, pair this with some black leggings and some cute accessories and you look adorable. In the same vein, I got this sweater, which is the same material as the one that I'm wearing, where it's like that foamy cotton. Um, this is black and has the hot drinks, the holiday flavors. And I actually really like this because you guys know how much I love wearing black. Um, it's so simple to match everything. And again, just wearing these with leggings and some cute booties. Um, super cute. I did get me a holiday sweater and this is regular sweater material. It's not foamy, but I thought this was cute. It's gray. It has the Mary. It has the reindeer hearts. Very girly Christmas sweater, which I love. So then I got this shirt, which was a fail. This is a size medium, mind you. And um, for reference, I usually wear size smalls or mediums depending on if a material doesn't have enough stretch because I am 5'2 but I also do have boobs and a butt so it's kind of the struggle trying to figure out sizing but the, this top was on sale for three dollars so I should have known then that it was not gonna necessarily be what I thought but it is this little top and then this I guess you could wear it on the side of your arm if you want to but I put it on like a one shoulder top that might have been issue number one because I actually think it looks cuter like this um and it has these like little pearl bead things on the side but altogether she's just not giving that much and I couldn't close her over my boobs then I got this top which I actually really like and this for reference is a size small which is surprising because it's very stretchy so this is a tube top and then it just has this black chiffon like tool thing going on at the top. I absolutely love this top and I actually need to see if they have it in different colors because I just think this is the cutest thing ever. Um, perfect simple for the holiday season like New Year's Eve. Just throw this on with some black pants and you have a look. Like it's very simple and she's a size small but she stretches so much because of the material and then it has like the band around it like most two tops do where they stick to you so it, you don't have to worry about sliding down. I was surprised at how much I like this top because I think this was on sale too and it was like super cheap but I love this. It's one of those uh, cable knit, cream colored, faux fur lined on the collar and the big freaking hem of the sleeves. I love seeing these so I finally got myself one that's white and I like to get stuff like this that's a lighter color for the contrast between my hair because if I wear it in black I feel like I have to wear my hair up or else it doesn't look good because it just blends in. That makes sense. The zipper's not working so I have to figure that out, but I'm excited for this. And also, I didn't realize that both the collar and the sleeves are detachable. Um, so that's awesome because I can just wear it as a regular cardigan if I don't want to be extra. But most likely, I will be being extra. And then the last thing, and the only pants that I got were these. These were also on sale. Uh, apparently, they weren't that popular. I think they're kind of cute, though. They're kind of a vibe. These are sparkly, high-waisted brown pants, and I've been into wearing more brown this year. And then the hem is cool because it's one of those, like, trendy open hems. I don't have any pants like this. Um, I liked them. I didn't feel like they were too long, even though I was 5'2", which was nice. And I felt like I had enough room in them. I didn't feel, like, uncomfortable. And I think I got these in a size small as well. Um, you just have to know what to pair it with because it is like this weird metallic shiny material so you can't just wear this with anything um but it's holiday season appropriate one of the accessories i got i had posted on my story and i'm so happy with this i found this bucket hat that is shirling but it has ears and i've been wanting to get like a faux shirling bucket hat because i think these are the only bucket hats that i feel are cute um so the fact that it has ears she is so precious. It's giving me bonus points because I have a big head as it is and then wearing a wig on top of that it's like impossible to find hats that will fit so I'm obsessed with this and I will be wearing this. Next are going to be dresses and two-piece sets. Some of these were fails but I'm gonna include all of them because they're all cute and the things that were fails I think I can kind of still make work. So the first thing is this dress. It is a plaid brown dress um, that I also did pair with the corset. I loved this dress and I think I got this in a size small. I felt like it fit perfectly and it has volume in the sleeve so you feel like a princess but it's not super dramatic where you feel like you're doing too much. Um, so I think with tights and boots this is like gonna be so cute. I, I'm gonna wear this to work you know and you can wear this on Thanksgiving. It's just she's very cute. The next set I'm kind of sad about because I was really excited for it but it does not fit me. I got this two-piece set that reminded me of the Ralph Lauren um, blazer that I have that I rented but um this is just a plaid almost almost 
almost like a flannel material um, and it is this cropped like blazer. One cute gold button so she looks very chic and then it comes with a matching skirt with buttons that go down the side. So it's kind of like the tweet set I've gotten in the past but the buttons are side instead of centered and again it's plaid and a different material. This skirt did not fit. <laughs> I My butt was not you know, giving it enough room. My butt needed more room, so this does not fit me at all. Um, I might see if I can ask my sister, like, add a panel to the side to kind of make it work. Um, but otherwise, I might have to sell this, which makes me a little sad because I was excited. But the top does fit me, <laughs> so that's something to be said. I guess if you have a booty, just keep sizing up, girl. The next dress I loved, so this dress is this silky satiny material. It is also like this tan wannabe gold color um, and it has this floral print design on it and lace lining. Um, I have a top exactly like this, like same material, same pattern, it's just green. Um, and this dress I loved because it feels like good quality but also it's comfortable. So like she hugs your body but you still have room to move around which I loved. Um, I was really surprised that I liked this dress as much as I did so I just think this is really nice and again I love like the browns and neutrals for you know the time before Christmas time, like official Christmas time. Give Thanksgiving a little bit, you know, give a little bit. Okay, the next set I'm also a little bummed about because this is too small. It is this two-piece set that has this pattern on it. Um, it's a very like light tan yellow with um, blue lines and this is the top and honestly I think the top is fine because I can just flip it like this and wear it as a jacket and I don't think that that's the end of the world so even though it does not fit me I think I can still make the top work. The skirt is just a little too short like I felt like my booty cheeks were hanging out however I think if I wear this with tights that are opaque or something like that and definitely not to work but to like a cute outing um, I think I could get away with this or I could even layer this on top of a longer like tulle skirt that's an idea actually I'm gonna do that so <laughs> she's not selling her I honestly just got this because it's red and I think that it'll be appropriate to have like one red dress that I could wear during the Christmas season by itself I'm not that wowed by it to be honest just because again this is out of my style week like how often do you see me dress like a hot sauce packet not often I'm really surprised that I like this as much as I did because I was you know, a little nervous about it just look at it before I show you the b-roll okay this is a black velveteen dress with like glitter stripes down almost giving you like 90s prom dress vibes but then the top has like this frill um heart neckline um it's off the shoulder and then it has these poofy sleeves that are polka dotted i thought this was girly and i was like i need to give this dress a chance maybe it'll look good and i'm glad i did because this is so freaking cute it's so adorable i absolutely love this dress it's giving me a little holiday season vibes but honestly I feel like I could wear this past holiday season don't know what for yet but I'm really happy I have this this brown dress she's very simple it has like this spandexy chiffon type of fabric um, and then it's that stretchy material so that way you don't have to worry about sizing near the boob area and then just flows out and the sleeves are all billowy it's a very simple plain dress um, but I like this because it's still cute it's comfortable and it gives you room so when you're bloated on Thanksgiving is not anybody's problem so I think I'm going to wear this for Thanksgiving this year and then just pair it with some cute accessories because I do like being cute on holidays but I also like being comfortable my last thing that I have to haul or my last two things I'm really excited for because you guys know again I love glam things but especially if they're comfortable and I got myself a pair of pajamas that are perfect for the Christmas season and it is this set of red silk striped pajamas giving me Victoria's Secret vibes and I did double size up so I got a large because I wanted the shorts to be large enough and long and this is so freaking comfy y'all like this is good quality I don't care what y'all say but I think they did charge for this like I think it was around like 20 25 dollars around the same price that you would pay like forever 21 for the silk pajamas or Target you know um, but it makes sense because it feels like those type of pajamas so I love them and I got the cutest little reindeer headband because it was giving me very much Ariana Grande Christmas and chill Santa tell me vibes you know so I got this cute little thing it has little bells on it doesn't make too much noise though which I like it's not super noisy but yeah that completes my holiday haul 
for the beginning of Glamis season for 2021. Hope that you guys found these things cute. If there's anything that you have any questions on for sizing, feel free to leave comments below. And if there are specific items or stores that you think carry, you need to be shopping this. This is totally your style. It's totally your aesthetic. You need this for holiday season. Leave your girl some links. Hook your girl up. And I'll be leaving my links again in the description box. I promise I will do my job as a content creator and do that for you. Okay, that's it for today's haul. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more hauls on this channel. And with all that being said, I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!